Hello Internet, I'm Hamster Bomb, and you guys are watching a video where I can finally show off my completed Vivillon collection, or a uh, Vivion collection. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. The show says Vivion. Um, technically, it's based off of a like a French butterfly that's supposed to be pronounced like that. So whatever, I should probably start saying Vivion. But either way, we're about to watch a video where I go through uh, what like 38 different versions of butterflies in Pokemon. So if that's not what you're interested in, then I'm sorry. Um, you're probably a cool person, so get out of here. Um, everybody else who's still here, I have a, <laughs> I've been looking for these things for such a long time, trying to get all of these patterns. And um, in this box that we're in right now are the normal patterns, and the next one over obviously was the one that was significantly harder, which are all of the shiny patterns. And I want to point out before I even get there, um, all of these Vivalons that I have acquired here um, have been required completely legitimately. I did not do what some people were doing where they would start their whole game over and tell their DS they live in a different region so that they can play up to the beginning of the game uh, where they can catch scatterbugs, beginning of X and Y. Catch scatterbugs, trade them to a different game, and evolve it into the Vivalon that they wanted, and then start over and do it again. To me, that's cheating, because the point of these... Uh, Pokemon having alternate patterns is so that it encourages trading and oh my gosh it was so cool when that came out because trading was unbelievable during that time except there was a ton of elegant patterns everywhere and there still are it's it's a uh, the Japanese one so of course it's flooding everywhere but either way before we get started in these I want to start out with the two that will not be shown in shiny forms because they are shiny locked and if you see these two bottom forms down here um, which I'll get to the second one in a minute. Um, it is a fake Pokemon. If you could get a real shiny one, I would have it because it is. it should have been in my collection. But, um, at this moment, and by at this moment is years after they've made these, I doubt that we will ever get a shiny version of these. So, um, there we go. We have the event Pokeball pattern of, uh, Vivian. Gonna, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how many times I screw this up in here. But anyway, uh, this event is, see, it says, like, summer, uh, 2014. So this is already, like, a four-year-old event. But, um, still, I did, I got this myself, um, because I was collecting the normal patterns at the time. So, um, this was a really cool thing to have. Um, anyway, aside from the Pokeball pattern, I think this one came out second. The, uh, event that came out before it... Uh, was a GTS event, as you can see there from the original trainer, and uh, this is the fancy pattern. So, um, like I said, neither of these two, they came out with uh, shiny versions for, so these are the only ones. Um, now, this one, yeah, this one has these ability hold hands. I don't think there was anything weird about the Pokeball one, no. Uh, though this one here does have hold hands, so whatever that's worth, it, it has that ability. Um, so, uh, moving up from here, I actually want to go up to the top, because this is, like, the order that I want to look through these. And, um, if you want, I can fly through the, um, the summary versions later, but the top screen is a little bigger. I'd rather show them like this. Um, so his first one here is the, uh, Icy Snow Pattern, and, uh, this one, uh, was kind of a rare one to find. Um, and this, of just trying to acquire these... I was doing a lot of GTS trading, and sometimes you would do a trade for a trade for another trade just to get one more Vivalon pattern, and you're trading, like, uh, your pattern for a slightly rarer pattern uh, to get a slightly rarer pattern to get this one, right? And you'd, you'd, like, I would build up a stock, and I still have my stock of extra Vivalon patterns just to try and get these, and um, I'll go a little quicker here. I just, like, there's so much story to the hunt, because it takes so long for these. Uh, moving on from here, I've got my uh, polar pattern. Um, this one, uh, I'm not even sure what ethnicity that is from there, because it says it's uh, not anything special, but I don't know. And by the way, um, back when I had these in my X and Y game, if you were in X and Y and you checked in your summary, for some reason in Sun and Moon you don't see it anymore, but if you checked in your summary, it would tell you, um, aside from like the little hexagon that you can see in um, some of these, it should be all of them, um, yeah, the, X, the hexagon was from X and Y on, but um, if you uh, were curious if one of the Pokemon was fake, um, it would tell you on what route they were captured, um, if they were hatched or what, 
and I, in those games, before doing this, because I had an older version where I was looking at all my Vivalons, I confirmed that they were all legitimate, so there's another thing. Unfortunately, that information is, like, not here until another game gives us more Pokedex data that mines it back out again. Um, then that's all we've got, so, um, anyway, uh, like we said, we have Icy Snow, here's the Polar Pattern, and this one here is the Tundra Pattern, this one wasn't as rare as Icy Snow, of those three, Polar was by far the most common, um, Tundra's a little harder to get, but, um, Icy Snow, I think, was a lot rarer, though, no, the, Tundra's pretty hard to get to, um, this one here, Continental, is another pretty common one, um, it wasn't, like, everywhere, like, some of the real commons were, so I'd say it's more like an uncommon one, but still, um, if this is yours, like, here, this one says it is Korean, um, th the actual locations of which Vivalon have all been figured out since then, so, whatever, uh, Continental Pattern, uh, I love this one, this one's so nice, this is a Garden Pattern, this comes from, I think, like, Ireland, uh, I think some, uh, areas in, like, uh, Germany, I'm not really sure, all of them, but, um, really nice pattern, this one, uh, moving on from here is the elegant pattern, this one is everywhere, and, uh, this is just, uh, obviously, another Japanese one, like I mentioned, it just makes them, uh, these elegant patterns, not all of them, though, there's some Japanese, there's some parts of Japan that give you different Vivalon patterns, but this one is everywhere on the internet, so it is not hard to get your hands on one of these, um, moving on from here, I'm gonna go down this direction, uh, this one here, uh, is the Meadow Pattern. This is the one where if, if, like, Pokemon wants to show it on, like, a card or in, like, the show, uh, they're showing this one. And, um, it, I, I think it's because this is the one that they announced first. This is the one that they showed, um, in, before the games came out. And, and then as soon as everyone started playing the game, and me included, I started raising my own Vivillon, and I was like, Vivillon, I was like, what the heck? It doesn't look like that. And mine was slightly different, which was so weird about it, because mine is this one. Uh, and this is actually the one I raised for my team, which is why it's on level 45. Um, this is, um, the modern pattern. Unfortunately, the modern is, I would say, um, second place in the most common, possibly third. It's hard to say, because, like, um, there's so many, um, I think there are high planes. Yeah, high planes are all over the place. Same for polars. There's a lot of polars, moderns, and high planes, though... You're not getting any more common than Elegant. Elegant, like, has a tier of common of its own. But either way, this was mine that I raised for my team. That's why its original trainer is Alex. You can tell that uh, I raised this one myself. Uh, moving on, we have ooh, a, uh, a German um, marine pattern. Now, this is really cool. Really cool colors on this one. Looks like this was caught in a netball. Um, you can also tell by some of the levels as we go through these how they were acquired. Whether, because I think 12 is the level up point that it turns into Vivian. Um, and then if it's level 30, that means it was found from Friend Safari. There's far more shinies I have from Friend Safari because it was easier to hunt that way. So, though, a lot of people hatched theirs that I got, um, trades from. Um, so anyway, this is the marine pattern. Really cool. I love blue. So it's really cool colors on this one. I had to wear my super colorful, uh, tie-dye shirt for this one, too. So there's, there's so much, uh, color in this video. Um, so this one here is the archipelago pattern. And now, for, like... Such a cool, like, area style that you would want to come up with for the butterfly. I was so disappointed with the colors for this one. I don't know, they, they just seem pretty lame, though. Um, this one, as well as the uh, marine pattern, I would say are, like, on equal footing of rarity. So if you have either one of these, that's pretty cool. Um, so uh, this one was actually on a super high level. I remember uh, fighting with it for a while, because I wanted to make a team of, like, Vivians, but... Anyway, um, so equal rarity, and like I said, we're taking a step down on this one. This one's a little easier to get, though this one's from Italy, which is pretty sweet. Um, there's a good chunk of America where you can find this from, that's why it's a little less common. But it's cool that mine came from Italy, I think that's why I kept this one in my main collection here. Uh, this one is the High Plains pattern, I think I mentioned this one before, but we didn't get down to see it. Also, not a big fan of this one's, um, color design, I don't know, it just looks, uh, dirty. Um, I don't know. Though, um, the style looks kind of Native American, like, and if that's what they were going for, that's pretty cool, but I don't know how, it, like, it was an Italian, like, it's clearly, they made patches all over the place, so you can get different kinds of, uh, Vivian patterns, but, moving on from here, uh, now, I kind of, even though I just said the last one looked dirty, the colors in this one look a little bit better, I do like this one. This is the Sandstorm pattern, and this one, um, I remember is a little bit more hard to come by, too. This is one of the rarest Vivillon patterns, Vivian. Dang, nah, but I'm not gonna be able to do this. 
And um, I would say this one is up there with like the top three rarest ones. It's really hard to get your hands on one of these. So if you live in an area with a sandstorm, that's pretty awesome. I remember the sandstorm it was one of the last ones for me to get my shiny pattern for too. Uh, moving on here, uh, this one is the river pattern. Um, this, I forget exactly where this one came from, but, uh, this was another one that took me a long time to get, um, my, uh, my normal one for. The shiny one, I got pretty lucky, and I knew somebody, uh, who had this as their native pattern, and we basically, how I was doing the whole shiny thing, I'd shiny hunt something that they wanted, and we would trade. Um, and they would obviously get me a, uh, Vivian for my collection. So, um, this one here was a, uh, river from someone who I was probably using GTS. Most of the normal ones I use GTS. I had to basically talk to a lot of people, um, and, in order to get the shiny patterns, uh, to work at all. Uh, the, uh, this one's Monsoon, the Monsoon pattern. This one, I might say, is the rarest Vivian pattern, and is probably my favorite one, too, just because the colors on it are just, mm, nice. I love the way this one looks. It's so cool. Um, this one, I don't know exactly where it was, I kind of forget. I think it's like in only in, um, like very unlikely areas that people even were playing Pokemon there in that part of the world. It, like, um, some parts of, like, uh, uh, India or, um, I don't really remember. It's been a long time since I checked, like, the locations of them. Um, because I was more into that, like, obviously, like, four years ago when we were doing this. Um, and, uh, this one I remember in particular was the hardest to get. This might have been my last pattern that I got in my normal ones. Um, so that's why I love this one so much. It's really sweet. This one looks like it's on level 30, so it probably came from a friend safari. Uh, moving on from here, this one is the Savannah pattern. I think I've got a couple extras of this one because this one, uh, is a really rare one and was super hard to get, but then when I, um, I think this one I did know, uh, or eventually wound up knowing somebody who had this as their native pattern, and we traded a bunch over, so I had several, and that helped me complete some more, uh, patterns for my collection. Um, so that's pretty sweet. I don't remember exactly where this was from either, but whatever. Like, there were theories of where they were, and it all kept changing, so who knows anymore. Um, this one here, this Vivian, is the sun pattern. Um, I think this is the Mexican one, and I think there's a few other areas in the world where you can find this one, but this one was really hard to get your hands on, too. Um, I wouldn't say it's, like, one of the top absolute rarest. I'd say, like, that's a good tie between, like, Monsoon, uh, Sandstorm, and Icy Snow. Um, though the last one we're gonna see here, the Jungle, as well as Ocean. These, actually, these next two are really rare, too. Um, this next one, oh, it's so cool, is, uh, a, I'm pretty sure Hawaiian ocean pattern. Um, I could be mistaken, but at the time we were pretty sure the only place you could find this thing was in Hawaii, which is crazy that it's so exclusive, but, um, there's probably more places, like, I'm betting someplace in Japan you could probably get this thing. Um, but it really, I love the colors in this one. It's so cool to see, like, the sunset and the butterfly. It's really nice. Uh, maybe it's going too far with, like, pictorial stuff, but I don't know. I don't care. I, I thought it was really colorful and cool. And, uh, here, the jungle pattern. This is one of the rarest ones, too. This one's so hard to find. But I was able to finally get my hands on it. It was one of the last ones I needed for my regular collection. And, um, as I showed you guys before, these are the two, um, uh, event ones that we had. So if I move over, now I've got my box of shinies, and I can finally show these to you guys. Some of them have nicknames, too, and are at different, uh, places in the world and all that stuff. Um, so, uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I did, uh, check and make absolutely sure before trading that each and every one of these was legitimate. Um, and that was obviously the tougher part, because getting shinies was so much harder. Um, you can see I've got everything in the same location, uh, from this box to this box. The only difference being there's no slots for the event, or there's no Pokemon in the event slots, because they, obviously I mentioned they are not shiny. Um, so, uh, starting here, this Icy Snow one, this, oh my goodness. This one is, like, as I mentioned, this is one of the rarest ones anyway. So getting a shiny of this one was super hard, and especially when some people, like, I think the person who, um, I don't remember if it was this one or something else, that, uh, they couldn't tell, because they were looking at someone else's collection, they were like, there is, like, a, a perfectly white Vivalon, but I don't know if, like, it, it, it's completely white, if it's, like, the shiny white, and I had to, like, explain, they were looking for the star and everything, but... 
Um, still going back and checking everything. Obviously, these ended up all being legitimate, which is nice. So, because uh, otherwise it would have been like a waste of my time because I hunted a shiny and they hunted a shiny. Um, so, anyway, this one's cool. It's in a premier ball. Uh, moving from here to the next one, we have a shiny polar pattern. Um, this one wasn't so bad. Like I said, it's a pretty common pattern, so it was kind of easier to get my hands on it. Plus, this is a, uh, a friend safari one. Um, though I'm pretty sure this one, um, I had a talk with one of you guys, and uh, this was somebody helping me out by hunting in their friend safari. I hunted something for them. Um, so, that's cool. I'm glad that that stuff happens, because that was the whole point of the Pokemon, to have more people have reason to uh, do collections and trades and stuff like that with each other. Um, the uh, shiny tundra pattern. This one, um, I don't really remember how I got it either. It's been such a long time, and this video has been such a long time coming, and I feel so bad that I keep forget I kept forgetting to do this for the longest time. But I'm so glad I'm finally able to show all of them off. I just want to take my time and go. Ah, they're done and they look great. Uh, my my Pokemon butterfly collection that my wife makes fun of me for so much, but ah, screw it, I'm done. I did it. Um, here we go, we have a shiny continental pattern. Um, as you can tell from the shinies, if you didn't really know what they were already, basically just the body is all that changes, and it just turns white. Um, other than that, the patterns are identical. It's probably so that we could tell which was which. If they, like, inverted colors or something in the color, it might be, like, way too much, and we wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Um, though I kind of wish they did something more radical like that, because then collecting each of these would have been even crazier. So, um, honestly, oh man, um, if I had the X and Y Pokedex, I'd have shown you guys, because you, like, flip through all of them on there, and it's pretty cool, but I think in the Sun and Moon Pokedex, it doesn't let you do that anymore. I'll double check at the end of this video, just in case, but either way. Uh, this is Shiny Continental, uh, kind of a harder one to get your hands on, but though I remember getting this one, uh, it was one of the first ones I got. Uh, same for the Garden here. Um, shiny Garden, I got pretty lucky, found, uh, the right people that I can Shiny Hunt for, it's at level 12, so they caught it uh, right away, and, uh, just leveled it up, got it, and traded it. Um, this one here, uh, is an Elegant, so, um, this one, I think, actually, uh, was a lot harder for me to get, because as soon as it turned from normal, just acquire the pattern, to get the Shiny, this was tough. Um, I... <laughs> Maybe it was just because it was hard to uh, get into contact with somebody in that area or whatever it was, but um, this one was, was one of the uh, harder ones for me to get for some reason, which was totally backwards. Um, the Meadow Pattern is a shiny. Um, this one's another uh, Friend Safari capture. This one's from Germany. Looks really nice. This is one of my favorite ones, just as the shiny change of like the body being white. Brings out like the little white that's out there. Looks really cool. Um, plus, it's like the main Vivillon. It's Vivian, so when you see it like this, I don't know. It's it's interesting seeing like it finally have like the the true shiny form of it. I don't know if the other one's the real main one. This is the main shiny, so it's pretty sweet. This one I hunted myself, and I was so happy and proud of myself. Oh, hold on here. Um, I'm pretty sure. I hunted another one of those myself, too. I think it was the Polar? No. Gosh, what? Was it this one? I think it was this one that I hunted myself. I'm so confused. <laughs> I did it on uh, camera on on uh, this channel with you guys, and um, I was looking at it like, I thought I did that one. Um, but one of these, um, I also hunted myself because uh, uh, Bonnie, one of you guys, actually sent me a Japanese uh, Pokemon uh, X game, and I was super excited to shiny hunt it, and still am. I still want to go back and shiny hunt some more. It's just the job situation is kind of putting me back. Uh, but as soon as I uh, got my ch uh, chance to, I found that the Vivian pattern in there uh, was not the uh, more common elegant as I had expected. It was instead a much more rare and very cool pattern. I'm pretty sure it was the Tundra pattern is what I found. Uh, but anyway, um, so I shiny hunted, is it on level 30? Yeah, I, I think that's mine that I shiny hunted. I'm just an idiot right now. Um, though this one, however, so that that's, that's fair, right? The game was actually purchased there, played there, um, and uh, it was a used game from over there. And then I played it here in this country. So I consider that one fair. I, I hunted it myself anyway. Um, so, uh, yes, as I mentioned, the modern pattern, this one I got out of my friend Safari, was the first one, um, I, uh, acquired as a shiny. And unfortunately, as soon as I did, of course, I had to get all the others. 
Um, this one here is the shiny marine pattern. Another really cool one. Love this one. Another uh, German one. Um, you can see the original trainers are changing each time. So big thank you to everybody who's on these original trainers lists. Thank you guys so much. This is so amazing to have this complete collection. You guys have no. I'm so happy about this. Now, like as soon as I finished finished this, I was like, okay. And now I can finally move on to that shiny living decks thing that you guys all want me to do. But this was like, this has to happen first. I don't know why, but I, I was just a freak about this Pokemon for the longest time. Uh, this one here is the shiny archipelago pattern. Now this one, I remember for the longest time, I was so nervous. I was like, it's at level 100, why is it level 100? And um, back when I had the information in the other game, um, it actually told me uh, this Pokemon was hatched. Um, it told me where, I contacted the person, um, and they're really nice. And I, they basically said, oh yeah, they wanted to hatch like a shiny team. And um, they wanted to trade because I had like, I forget what it was that I traded for this, but um, it might have been like a Larvitar or something like that, or a Bagon, because I had several and now I don't. Um, because I used a lot of those shinies extras for trades for this. And um, they really um, just, since it was already level 100, they say once they level something up that like that, they just want to switch and try something else, which I guess I understand. Um, but yeah, I had some other people, some of you guys too, help me go through these things on live streams and stuff to check, make sure they were legitimate. Um, so thank you guys also for that as well. Uh, moving on from here is another Friend Safari find. This one uh, is the Shiny High Plains pattern. I think this one... I needed your guys' help uh, with as well. It was a um, surprisingly difficult one to get my hands on, though uh, we ended up getting it in the end, fortunately, because the High Plains isn't too bad, uh, too hard of a rarity. Like, there's enough people who live in that area who could have shiny hunted it for me. Uh, this one, I know, was one of the last ones I needed, because uh, this one, I think, this, Jungle, and Elegant were the final three. We had a whole live stream trying to get the final three, and uh, we finally found the right people who were in those areas. Um, got the shiny trades going and we finished this thing so um, it's actually been a long time since then like man like half a year and I feel really bad that I'm taking way too long to make this video finally come out but alas it's here so shiny sandstorm I love this one it's so cool it's so rare uh, looks like it was probably a uh, friend safari find I leveled it up a bit because they were like hey cool shiny and um, it was just convenient that I was able to contact that person um, moving on from here, we have a shiny river pattern. Uh, this one was actually one of the first ones I was able to get my hands on because, um, first, I think there was somebody who, um, had kind of given up on collecting their shiny Vivillons, Vivions, and, uh, they had, like, six of them, and, uh, I was able to trade, uh, and that helped me, like, get my shiny collection started. And River was one of them. As well, I got super lucky. They had a shiny monsoon pattern. This one, I was like, oh, thank you. Because it was so hard to get the normal monsoon. Getting a shiny monsoon would have been insane. But, uh, fortunately, a friend safari, uh, shiny monsoon pattern. I was like, oh, yes. Yes. This, this one may be my most, um, valued, uh, Vivian pattern I have. I'm not sure. It, I mean, they're, they're all so super rare, it's hard to even say. Uh, but still, one of my absolute favorites is this shiny one right here, this shiny um, Japanese Vivian here. Next one here is a uh, shiny Savannah form. Uh, it's another um, uh, level 30, which means it's a friend safari find. Um, and uh, this little guy, I think, was another one that I ended up getting from that uh, same trainer. So. Um, who was collecting a lot of different ones, and uh, fortunately you can tell by like trainer IDs, these are all different people, so this was another person like me who was trading around, I was talking to them for a while, and um, they were also trying to complete this. I guess it's good that their collection ended up uh, getting grouped together and still made a, a large finished collection, that's pretty cool. I hope, I'm kind of hoping eventually they'll let us shiny hunt or get shiny versions of the events of other ones I don't know because I feel like this is incomplete even though it right now this is very much complete and we're almost done um, this one here has Pokerus actually um, probably I'm not sure it's at level 54 I'm not sure where it was acquired I would have been able to tell you in the past game but this one doesn't show us anymore this is the shiny Sun pattern um, this one I think we were talking with somebody online um, in order like from through the channel online in order to uh, have them like they hunt for me, I hunt for them. Uh, no, it's at level 54. This was somebody who I contacted who was actually raising it on their team. 
Oh, this person, this was so hard to convince them to let me uh, trade this. Um, because I remember they, they were raising this thing. This was on their team. They really wanted it. It was one of their favorites. I was like trying to convince them. It's like, please, please, please. You have to let me trade for this because it's like oh, one of the shiny, like I need this. It's so, it's impossible for me to get it. Um, by my own means, though they could possibly get another, and that's why it was such a big deal. Eventually, I convinced them, and they let me trade it. I remember that now. Uh, moving on from here, we got another very, very nice one, a shiny ocean pattern. Um, this one, I believe, was uh, caught in the beginning of the game. Um, it just turned up to level 15, and um, I don't really particular... I think this one was from the main, the larger collector, who had like six different Vivians, and I was able to trade from them. Um, though... Oh, and it's, it's an amazing, amazing pattern. I love this one, too, though. I was going to say, moving on. I believe our final pattern was this one right here. The shiny jungle pattern. This one, we definitely, I remember, we had an, uh, an event kind of live stream going on in order to find this one. And uh, I think we ended up finding somebody, one of you guys, who had a uh, friend safari and your native uh, pattern happened to be the jungle, the super rare jungle one. And um, so I was like, please don't leave. Let me shiny hunt something for you and I will do this. Cause I was like, I need to complete this. And we finally did and the trade commenced, all was well. And uh, there we have it. I'm gonna run through these really quickly just so you guys can see this. Um, just so we can like quickly pop through these. If uh, it matters to anybody. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy seeing like this finally be finished because there was so much work. So much work put into it, though. I'm really happy to see this finished because there was so many people that I was talking with in order to get this completed. So many trades were going down, especially just for the normal forms in particular because the normal ones, you could do a trade for another trade, for another trade. But when you're talking about shinies, people aren't willing to do one trade and give you another shiny back. So GTS for shinies is not a good idea. You're not gonna get a shiny in return. So um, it's it was kind of like not worth it. Um, though uh, finally moving to the shiny ones and just talking with people more, that was a lot more helpful, though it was just as difficult because dealing with the internet's GTS thing to try and get you the next patterns is super hard. But also, dealing with people and trying to find the right people out there, those rare people, the rare few who have those patterns in order to get the final ones. And boom. You know, it's kind of weird that uh, this one's in a regular Pokeball, and this one was an event. I I, I am the uh, original uh, trainer for both of those. I don't know why it did that. Um, though my ID number is kind of different on the Pokeball. Oh, that's a different game. That's a different game. Um, so, anyway, that is that. That is all of my uh, Vivian patterns. I'm gonna try one last thing before we go today because I mentioned I'm gonna try and find these in the Pokedex, though I have absolutely no idea um, how to actually find them in here because it's set in its own way. Um, I'm not sure, maybe I can like search them this way. Ah, here we go. Name V should be super easy now. Um, here, whoa, oh, it's not actually there. So, um, it's because, uh, this Pokedex, I guess, doesn't show you the full national, which is kind of weird. Um, uh, but anyway, yeah, it's a bummer because in the past Pokedex, you could actually show, um, all of them in order, and it was really cool looking, but I transferred them up, and they can't go back after that, so that's a shame. But either way, I'm finally done! I'm finally done with my shiny Vivian collection. And I'm so glad I got to share it with you guys. I can't believe the video was this long. I'm sorry I held you for so long. I'm just so excited about this collection. It was such a big deal for me. So much work went into this for such a long time. I'm finally able to share it with you guys and it makes me so excited. But either way, that is all the time I have for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!